Hey guys, Global Elite is the final rank of matchmaking, and for people with lower ranks, it might feel like an impossible task to get to Global. First of all, that's not true. Second of all, I'm the proof. No, but really, I can have some really bad matches. So how did I do it? I'm gonna share with you my top 5 tips on how to reach Global Elite. This can be applied to any rank in the game. However, it's specifically focused on higher ranks. Number 1. One of the bigger problems that I see from players that are terrorists is that they wait. They wait for something to happen. They wait without contributing to the round. They simply wait and wait and you guessed it, wait. When you're a terrorist, you need to make sure that you're helping your team by actually doing something, otherwise you're just letting them die and time will fly by. Make a move, use your grenades, get entry frags, do something. Number two, this tip will follow up on the first tip. If you want to get to global, you do not want to push the enemy team too early. This is a very common mistake and it's very easy to get mad and frustrated after losing a couple rounds and getting no kills. The biggest mistake when that happens is that you push because you're greedy and you want kills. Here's a good example. Let's say the last enemies are on banana. The push from A makes the bomb site free. Oh, but look, the terrorists got the kills from behind. Now, they got free passage to A. So remember, don't push too early. The same goes for rotations. Rotate only if you're 99% sure of where the bomb is or if the time is running out. Number three, one thing we all hate is when you die and no one is there to help you. There's something we can do to prevent this and it's called a trade kill. A trade kill is when your teammate spots an enemy, tries to kill the enemy, dies, and now you need to kill the enemy before the enemy runs back to safety. If the enemy goes to safety, he slash she will reposition and the chances of you winning the round will be a lot smaller. So be ready to get a trade kill. It's required if you want to play as a team, and it's also a big contributing factor for reaching global. Number 4. Sometimes when you play you just want to go autopilot and you start running everywhere without knowing where the enemies are. Let's say you kill two guys on banana because they pushed. So now you're telling your team to rush B. But is there really no one there? The point of this tip is that if you're not 100% sure of where the enemy team is, always expect the unexpected. I see many people that do this very common mistake. They go around the corner and bam, they die because they're not ready for an ambush. So always expect the unexpected. Even if it's close to your teammates. Number five, let's look back at my four other tips. To be able to follow all these tips for reaching global, you need to be focused. Staying focused means to be alert and to be able to think clearly. Many people play a lot, maybe too much, and after a couple games you start to feel less focused. This is when all your mistakes start to happen. So remember, it's very important to take breaks. I'm gonna make a video specifically about focusing in the near future, but these tips are the ones I used to get to global. If you haven't seen my top 5 tips for ranking up in matchmaking, I strongly recommend to watch it as it covers more important tips such as communication. That was it for this video, I'll see you guys soon, and remember to go bananas!